hear us just yet. He's connected oh, okay. to audio, so. I'm just looking at him. <laughs> at him or yeah. the camera? Okay, cool. I'll look at him too. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. I, Hello, Matt. He, Matt, we cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? No. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. All right, Matt. Please say your name and your outlet and begin. My name is Matt Prater from Vision Christian Radio in Australia. Hey, Matt. Hey. Great to have you along, guys. I'm a massive fan of The Chosen, and uh, it's so good to be able to connect with you today. Um, can you please tell us what is your role in The Chosen? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I play Andrew, um, often known as the first called disciple. And to me, you know, I tend to call him Andrew the Great, um, and I think uh, every other person does as well. Go ahead, Paris. <laughs> uh, I don't agree with that, but I am Paris Patel, and I play... Matthew, uh, also known as the Beloved. No, I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> That's what I call myself. No, but I am, I am the former tax collector turned scribe on The Chosen. Very cool. Well, I've been watching since season one, and I'm so excited for season four coming out in cinemas. I'm so pumped about it. Um, let's uh, just focus on you for a moment, Matthew. So it's my name, Matthew, which means gift from God. You know, you're right. It's a great yeah. name. Um, y you're a little bit quirky in the show. <laughs> And I think that's great to show that the disciples weren't all perfect saints, were they? They were all, you know, a quirky bunch. Um, tell us a bit about how you developed your character, Matthew. You know, uh, in developing Matthew, it was, uh, it was a team. You know, this was uh, a character that Dallas really wanted to bring to life. He felt it was plausible that Matthew could be on the spectrum, given his uh, attention to detail, uh, especially with, uh, you know, his own book and and things like that. And I think it just added more uh, rich uh, subtext to him uh, because it kind of showed uh, him being very intelligent but uh, having a hard time processing the world and that which resulted in him feeling isolated and not really feeling understood or seen. So I think that's really resonated with our audience and seeing uh, kind of Matthew's journey evolve from then to now and seeing how much he's grown in confidence and, and kind of finding his family and, and uh, you know, these guys uh, bonding with them and, and finding himself. And I think that's such an important thing to really uh, take into account is, is finding your own identity. Yeah, very cool, mate. And while I'm looking at you as well, I'm remembering a scene where Jesus is going through the Beatitudes before he does the public speech. He's going through it with you. Yeah. And you're kind of like, are you sure you want to do this? This is, a, you know, uh, what was it like? Did, like? did that impact you when you were, you know, listening to that speech? Yeah, it's funny because I was, we were doing the scene and it was so cold in Utah and the sun was setting and it was beautiful. And I just, uh, I thought I was freezing, but I realized I was just holding in uncontrollable tears during that moment because it was so beautiful to have those beatitudes read out and have it kind of you know picture it uh, relating to each disciple in each moment i thought that whole scene was so important for matthew's storyline that season because i think it was a moment that jesus wanted to have with matthew to make him feel accepted because the, the disciples weren't really welcoming him in that season so that moment yeah. was so beautiful to have that one-on-one -on -one time, just kind of how like a lot of people want to feel like they see Jesus authentically and, and, and have that one-on-one -on -one time with him. So it was a very special moment for Matthew and a special one to film. Oh, very cool. Now, I've interviewed George Xanthus, who's uh, John the Beloved, uh, and he's a good Aussie bloke. I know, you're yeah. Aussie yeah. friend. <laughs> yeah. Does he behave himself on set? Is he okay? Is he's he the worst. <laughs> Very Aussie. That's why I know? say I'm the beloved, not John the beloved. No, I'm kidding. No, George is. No, he does. Yeah. He's the best. Yeah. I actually just saw him yesterday. We were playing games. So um, everyone, there was only one moment, by the way, while filming, that a, the slightest Aussiness came out. And uh, now I never let him forget it. And so he was saying one line, doing great in the accent. And then, you know, it came out. And now my interpretation of it was like, he said something, he's like, okay, we've got to get the sermon. And now I do my version of a horrible Aussie accent just to get at George, you know? Just to yeah. just to tell him, like, I heard the... The, the true Aussie comes out in yes. George when he eats Vegemite sandwiches in oh. between breaks on set. And, you know, that's... No, there's that's, no... There's, there's no... There's, no, there's, it's only Vegemite. It's, it's like, I don't know what you're putting it on, but it's barely anything there compared to the amount of Vegemite. Yeah, it's, oh, it's yeah. like half the tub of Vegemite <laughs> in the sandwich. The yeah. sodium so, levels the out of this world. Only George can pull yeah. it off. The <laughs> beloved. 
Yeah, some people say Vegemite is like sin. It's just evil stuff, you know. So, yeah, I mean, it's up to you when you have them. <laughs> but not Tim Tams, my friend. Tim Tams are the best <laughs> gift to the cool. world. Awesome. Well, guys, we're so looking forward to season four. And uh, I've got to say, Matthew, I loved you in uh, The Jesus Revolution as well. You did a cameo in uh, that. Yeah, yeah thank you. And big fans of you guys. Thanks for joining us today. God bless. Thank Appreciate you so you, much. And See shout ya. out to Ozzy. And I've got some friends in Adelaide. So hello to Adelaide. Yes. Love, love Australia. You, Australia. Cheers, mate. God bless. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. That's cut. Thank you.